Ever wonder what's the difference between MIDI cable versus a USB cable for your keyboard rig? Well, I'm going to explain to you what's the difference between these two and show, show you how to set these two up. Let's go! Hey, what is up you guys? I'm iBeats. Welcome to this video. And today we're going to talk about these two cables right here. So I decided to make this video for those who are wondering how to, uh, to get started with this whole MIDI thing. Or they want to develop their, their sounds and stuff like that. You're in the right place. I'm going to explain like pros and cons when it comes to each of these cables. What they can do, what they cannot do. Let's get started. So, first things first. Let's talk about this cable right here. So this is the original, the OG Legend Classic MIDI cable. So this is what it looks like. For those who don't know, it, it stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. I got that right. So... Bada bop boom pow. So this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like an XLR cable, but an XLR has three pins. This one has five pins you can see that so the way this works so for example if you have two keyboards or like one keyboard with a drum sequencer or like a synthesizer or, or per se you can use this to have both keyboards connect uh, together with each other so that one keyboard will send the notes that you're playing from down here and it'll send the, the MIDI signal into that device it'll catch that that those those notes from your first keyboard and it'll send you the audio or the sound from that that certain device so this is how it works you put one end of the MIDI cable into the keyboard and you put the other end to the end of of your let's say synthesizer so out here into into the, the synthesizer right so that's how it works now let's talk about this cable right here This one, this is a USB cable, which you've probably seen this before. This might be familiar to you. So this is the, the USB cable. This, this end is pretty different if you haven't seen this before. So this is a USB 2.0 B. This is the A, this is the B. This is different when uh, compared to this cable. So with that cable, you can connect to any device that has a MIDI connection, MIDI port. For example, that my interface back there, that it has a MIDI port in the back, which I'll show you in a second. So what you what you do is uh, you connect from one keyboard to another uh, keyboard, but you cannot connect one keyboard into a computer unless you have an interface. This one, you connect you can connect your keyboard straight into your computer, your Mac or your or your PC, right? So this is like straightforward. Most keyboards like this one should have this port on the back of it, right? So from here, you can connect to this keyboard or whatever keyboard you have with a USB port in the back. On this end, you plug this in straight to the computer or USB hub if it's required. So this is more simpler to connect uh, your keyboard into your computer, but this you cannot connect this into your musical musical instrument device like a keyboard or a drum sequencer like that one so if you're going for more like a like a, a keyboard to keyboard or like if you're going to have if you have like a rack a piano rack if i if i don't know if this still exists for example like a motif es rack you can connect this cable from your one keyboard into that rack or per se let's say like if you have like a mks 20 around line around you can connect this one from your keyboard into that mks20 that one you can connect any keyboard with the usb port into your computer and you can grab any sound that, that, that you have so i'm going to show you how to how to connect one of these cables and show you how how this process work so here's my interface that i have so this is my PreSonus interface and this one comes with MIDI ports so you got MIDI in 
MIDI out and you can see there it says MIDI right so if you have one of these kind of interface lying around you can use this to uh, connect your keyboard into the interface and then from the interface we'll send a MIDI signal into your computer if you don't have a cable for for the key, uh, for the keyboard into the computer let's say this this is a keyboard right or like a like a synthesizer so let me bring this keyboard out a bit so you can see what what I'm doing all right so I took this piano out so I, so I can show you what's going on so this is a Korg X50 synthesizer right this is a synthesizer but I use this as a main piano because this is like more uh, more portable more easier to carry to travel for gigs and stuff a quick note this will work with all keyboards that you have so all keyboards should have the MIDI ports on the back of your keyboard so this is the USB the USB cable. so this is the MIDI cable right so Sorry. Let's say if you want to use a different sound from another device using playing the notes off of this keyboard, you put MIDI out. So you got in and out. Now some keyboards, for example, like the the Yamaha Motif, they have MIDI in, out, and then another one called MIDI through. I'll explain that later. So you plug this on this end, whatever end, it doesn't matter. So on the back of the of a, of a keyboard right then you put the other end for example right here on the back of your interface so it goes in in the in in in, in <laughs> on the in MIDI port so what this does so like so let's say if you have an interface like this you're going to send a MIDI notes from your keyboard into the interface the interface will will send it through into your Mac or your PC. So I already have my MIDI cables plugged in when I have it saved here. So it's the same as this. It's just like color coded for me to remember which is which. So that's how I do it in my studio setup here. Now uh, this is how I do for when it comes to gigging or when it comes to like a minimal MIDI setup. So this is the way. This is the way to go to go minimal when it comes to do MIDI in gigs or in the studio. Let's say if you bought, if you just bought yourself a MIDI keyboard and that has no sounds or anything at all, it's just, uh, it's just a, a controller. It, it should come with a USB cable like this, right? Or let's, let's just say if you have a keyboard that has a USB port like this, uh, and you want to do, uh, if you want to expand a different sounds from your computer, this is the way to do. So this is how I do it. So you connect this, this, this port into USB, right? And this one, you don't need a interface or like a second keyboard to do uh, extra sounds, but you can do this on your, on your Mac or your PC. And you can like download a bunch of plugins and stuff like that, which is like endless possibilities. Cause with this one cable, you can, you can do both MIDI in and outs on both both sides and you don't need to have extra cables like like the MIDI cables to do that. So this is like the awesome way, the most minimal, simplest way to do MIDI stuff. If you are using a Yamaha or you're going to use a Yamaha like a like a Motif ES or XF, uh, probably other keyboards out there. With this this kind of this type of cable, you will you will notice that you don't have signal or anything coming into your computer unless you download a drive for a keyboard that you're gonna be using. For example, at the church I play, uh, we have a Yamaha Motif ES, so I have to download driver. And the good thing is that they're they're all totally free, so you can just download them at uh, in no time, and then you're ready to go when it comes to playing a Yamaha keyboard. Now I'm not sure for montages or, or mode DX. I think those you have to uh, download a uh, driver for them too, and they're also free. And I believe Nord does this too. I'm not sure. If you 
have a, a, a laptop or a computer that only has a USB-C like this, like my Mac over here, you can uh, get yourself, which you probably have already nowadays, a USB hub like this. So you have to have whether a uh, USB 2.0 or 3.0, I believe this is a 3.0. So uh, with this one, you can plug it straight into here with this part. Oh, actually, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> this part into here and, and then to your computer, which is the USB N. See there, it's much smaller than the regular USB, so you already know that. So it's best to uh, to purchase one of these if you're going to use uh, a use USB, regular USB ports like this, uh, plugs. Now I'm not sure if there are any a cable with a USB-C N. If they do, uh, that's great. And one more tip about using an, uh, USB connections. Uh, think about uh, how many how many uh, ports that you will need for your keyboard. So let's say if you're gonna be playing at a church, if it's just like piano that you're gonna be doing. So let's say if you having your you have your main piano, if you need something to like to control the volume or trigger the sounds, like for example this APC, you're gonna be going to have two connections into a hub. But let's say if you're gonna go for like a little more extreme, <laughs> extreme. But let's say if you're gonna go a little more, let's say you have two keyboards, a controller or interface or whatever. So that, for example, you're going to need a four USB connections, USB hub like this one. So it, it doesn't matter which uh, USB hub that you're going to need as long as you have the, the, the right connections for, for your USB cable and for the other end for your computer. And I believe Scarlett, Focusrite Scarlett, they, I believe they have uh, MIDI ports in, in their interfaces. So I'll link them down below. So the main thing is, so with, between these two cables, both work the same thing. So they both send MIDI signal onto any devices. It's just, it depends which one you're gonna go for. If you are a keyboard player that wants to use you, uh, a Mac or PC, uh, for your church, you're gonna go for a USB cable like this for sure. Oh yeah, one thing. Uh, if you if you're using uh, once again the Yamaha's, if you're gonna use it with a MIDI MIDI interface like 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 this PreSonus, you won't need to download the driver from the company into your computer because with this what this one does, the computer will read what's coming from the interface, not from your keyboard. So. Every time you, you plug something from any keyboard into that interface with MIDI, it'll recognize the interface. All right, so about MIDI through. MIDI through what it does, so when you connect your one keyboard to a one device, once again, out into, into a one device, and if it has a through connection, you plug that one into your third device. So what it does, it the third device will only grab the, will, will also grab the notes from your main keyboard through that second device. So it won't do anything to that second device. It'll only it'll only grab from what's coming from the notes of, of your of your piano or your keyboard. So yeah, I believe that that is all that I got for y'all today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this whole MIDI stuff, or if you have any problems uh, with your uh, MIDI connections, you can comment down below and let me know if you need some help with it. And if you have any more questions about these two types of cables, or like what is best for me, whatever whatever it is, feel free to, to comment down below at the bottom of the screen. And you can also click down below the, the interfaces that I've mentioned earlier, for example, this PreSonus or the Focusrite, all the links are down there down below so you can check them out and if you want to purchase them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, comment down below if this helped you a lot. Share it to those who are also wondering about this whole mini thing. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications so you'll miss all the, the new videos that I'm putting up on YouTube. And go follow my social media pages that I have here. And then you can follow my stories the, the when I, whenever I post a new video just like this. Alrighty guys, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace. You ever wonder what's the difference between 
a MIDI cable versus a USB cable for your keyboard rig? <laughs> Ever wonder what's the difference between an B this thing? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you on this video today of what's the difference between these two and really why you're so close to me. I'm gonna show you what each cable does. Do, does, do, da, do. So it looks like an XLR cable or a microphone. So it kind of looks like an XLR. So this is a, a USB-A cable, no USB-B 